welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be telling you the story of the birthday tree. <laughs> this is a tradition that I started four years ago for my daughter. My daughter is born a few days after Christmas and to help her feel special and make her feel like her birthday is not lost among all the holidays that happen in the winter, I wanted to do something a little special for her to just commemorate her birthday each year. So what I do is after Christmas, I take down all the Christmas ornaments off our Christmas tree and then I redecorate it with a new theme each year for her birthday. So we have done several different themes and I will add pictures of those at the end of the video so you can see the previous themes. But this year's theme was chosen right by my daughter. It's right on track with her and what she loves, which is all things princess. <laughs> um, and this year she chose Cinderella, classic, beautiful fairy tale. So I had a lot of fun with this. I chose to go more classic, more understated, um, so I could keep this tree up all through the winter. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made it all, how I decorated it, and how I did it on a pretty good budget. Um, I am gonna be showing you how I made some of the ornaments. I have some table decor that I painted, lots of goodies. So check it all out and see how I made a beautiful Cinderella birthday. So of course the story of Cinderella has pumpkins in it that become her carriage. So I grabbed a couple pumpkins that I had around my house and one that I found on clearance and I decided to paint those to put on the table at the party. I did two coats of Dixie Belle's Slick Stick first to prime the pumpkins so that my paint would adhere well. And while those were drying, I moved on to ornaments. I found these glass slippers on Amazon. They come in a 24 pack and they're really cute. They're actually made out of plastic, but it's a very thick plastic. They would be cute with a little chapstick in them or something as a party favor, but I chose to use them as ornaments. So I had to get some ribbon so that I could hang them on the tree. I started by cutting this thin blue ribbon into 24 different pieces so that I could glue them on to the ornaments. Then I wanted to give the slippers a little more embellishment, make them a little sweeter, and so I tied these little bows and I did my best to show you how I made them. It took some practice to tie these little bows, but it was actually quite easy once I got started and I did 24 of them and then glued them onto the back of the slipper. Next, I got my hot glue gun out and I took one piece of the ribbon and put it in a sweet loop and then I glued it, just one little dot, onto the back of the slipper. And my biggest tip here is once you have stuck your ribbon on, use a pencil, a pen tip, I used a paintbrush tip to press my ribbon down. That way I did not burn my hands <laughs> with the glue. Worked like a charm. Then once that was stuck on, I did another little bead of glue right in the center there and put one of the little bows onto the back of it as well. And this was just a sweet little touch for the ornament. Once I finished the ornaments, then I moved back to my pumpkins. I chose this color Savannah Mist by Dixie Belle. It's a really pretty soft blue, just really reminded me of Cinderella. I think it's the perfect Cinderella blue. And I painted two coats of this onto my biggest pumpkin. I also did this same color on one of the littler pumpkins as well because it was just so pretty. Here is the littler pumpkin that I painted in Savannah Mist as well. And I went ahead and just put on some glitter just on the top of it and had it kind of cascading down. While the paint was still wet, I just stuck the glitter right on and just made for a sweet little detail on this one. Then for this other little pumpkin, I did a base of fluff, which is a white by Dixie Belle. And then I did some dry brushing using Rub and Buff. This stuff is so great and a little goes a long way. This is the color Gold Leaf. And I took my fan brush, which I use a ton when I'm dry brushing, and just like I did with the glitter on the other pumpkin, I focused on most of it being on the top and then just kind of had it cascade down the sides and disappear into the main color. And then I did the same thing on my bigger pumpkin and I used that fluff, that white color, and focused it on the top and had it cascade down the sides with the dry brushing. And I'm gonna show you how I dry brushed here with this rub and buff. So I grabbed this again 
for one last little touch on the bigger pumpkin. And you don't need much. A tiny bit goes a long way with rub and buff. And I brushed most of it off on a cloth and then I started at the top and focused most of it on the top and then just kind of softly brushed it down the sides to the point where I wanted it to go. And this just highlights the top of the pumpkin where the sun would naturally hit and you can kind of brush in to the grooves of the pumpkin and highlight those as well. One of the nice things with rub and buff is if you get too much in any spot, you can literally just rub it right in and buff it right in and it'll look just fine. And here's how these three little pumpkins turned out. I also used the rub and buff on the stems of the little pumpkins just to tie them all together. And I think they looked really sweet and turned out really pretty when I put them on the table, which I'll show you. Lastly, I got these ornaments and most of them were thrifted. Some of them were on clearance. And I thought the clear ones looked like the bubbles from when Cinderella is cleaning the floor and the bubbles are kind of popping up from her as she's working. And I put some of these little glittery silver stars inside the clear ones just to give it a little extra shine. And here is how everything turns out. I put those pretty ornaments on the tree. I added ribbon. I put the pumpkins on the table and added some of the stars on the table. It all came together so beautifully and my daughter absolutely loved it. She will be talking about it forever. I had some extra of the ornaments so I hung them on these little trees. I used that bucket which kind of reminded me of Cinderella and her cleaning. I took some little pumpkins that I had in my fall decor and put them on the mantle. I made this wreath with just some random picks that I had left over from other wreaths and it all came together so beautifully. I think this tree is my favorite that I have ever done for my daughter. Who knows what she'll ask for next, but I can't wait to see. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned at the end of this for the other year's trees and you can see the other themes that we did.